Hello everybody, this is Janice. Welcome to my channel. Um, today I have a little watercolor action for you using the Peerless watercolor, uh, watercolors. <laughs> Uh, my friend Teresa, who is my bug lady, um, she is a countywide pest control here in Central Florida. Awesome. She gifted me um, this strip of Peerless watercolors. If you're not familiar with this, they are very, 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 very concentrated watercolors that are on a sheet of paper. And you just dab your paintbrush ever so lightly on the surface and you get bam some color um, so she was kind enough to share those with me she joined the uh, peerless uh, subscription box and so she shared those with me and here I used some Canson 300 gram uh, watercolor paper that I cut down to I think these are this one's three by four and I use my corner chomper to cut the corners, to chomp the corners down, makes it look kind of like a ticket. It's the mint green one. You'll see it here on screen. It has, uh, one side is the, uh, what do they call it? You'll see it on the screen in a moment. I am very sleep deprived right now, but I really want to upload this video because I'm so excited. And the little pineapple here is from the Stamps of Life and uh, it's just the sweetest pineapple. I love anything pineapple. I actually have a pineapple garden in my backyard and I've always loved pineapples. So here I have a piece of paper and I'm measuring that because I was telling you about the size. Um, and I used the, so there's the corner chomper, the mint green one that has the deco edge, which is the edge there. And then the other side is called stub and it's a little bit more rounded. It's really cute. I know these tools are pricey, but they really do add a very cool finish to your project. Okay, so now I'm adding the memory decks holes using the Heidi Swap punch. And here are the watercolors, and there you can see you have all the colors that you need in a very compact, a sheet that you can take with you put it in your traveler's notebook or what have you um, and bring your water brush the water brushes are uh, filled with water and then you can just clean it off on a paper towel when you want to change colors and Teresa was nice enough to share two of them with me because she only wanted the wide one <laughs> so that was very very generous of you Teresa I really appreciate that see she took the wide and I have the fine tip and the medium. And I used the medium for this project. And so what I did was I, um, well, I'm showing you that all you have to do is squeeze the brush and then to clean it, you just use a piece of paper towel or a, a moist sponge would work as well. And then um, I'm using, oh, there I'm showing you, I'm sorry, I don't remember. I made this earlier and then I, spritz it or or kind of sprinkled water on it and there you can see it lifts the color this works with any watercolor but it's just a really cool effect and so here i'm adding a few more using my water brush and then i'm going to set it aside for a little bit and give it a chance to do its thing okay so i think now we're actually going to do this watercolor i'm using the um a water i mean a water a spray bottle to spray some water and create some little pools on the surface of the watercolor paper and then I'm just dropping some color here and there in a visual triangle and then just kind of letting the water move the paper move the paint and then I'm just gonna keep adding color and then I decide well let's make a few while we're at it because this color is so concentrated that what I was um, finding was that I was wasting a lot of color by cleaning my brush off and I hate wasting stuff so <laughs> especially beautiful color and so I'm going to grab another piece of cardstock the sheets are 9 by 12 so you can just cut them down if you're just a card maker or making these memory decks cards or art trade art artist trading cards and uh 
you know, you can get a lot from one sheet. So that's what I did. I just cut a bunch. And again, I'm just spraying water and letting the water move it very randomly. It's so relaxing to me. I love it. I love the randomness. I love not knowing what I'm going to get and just watching it do its thing and just lifting the color with the brush. And um, a tip for you is if you're wanting to do this and you've never done it before, make sure, be mindful that you're using warm colors together and cool colors together and don't mix them unless you want brown. Um, cool colors would be the blues and purples and greens and then the warm colors are, you know, your yellows and reds and orange. And of course, yellow and red make orange, so... There you go. You only need yellow and red. So this was a really cool sampling that she gave me. And so here we're going to dab up that water. And there you can see it's kind of like a bokeh effect. I love it. And then now I'm just, again, just playing around. And um, I'm just going to let you watch this video with the music. And you'll see me um, add some elements to the card and the the video will end abruptly because my husband called me, which I love that he called me, but it did interrupt the video. So um, it ended and then you'll see some photos at the end. Um, so thanks again for watching and for all my new subscribers. And please check out Teresa. Um, her, uh, the link to her uh, pest control is down below as well as her videos. Uh, she does process videos where she creates watercolors and she's a very, very talented. She does real watercolor um, in terms of, you know, making a piece of art. So please check her out and show her some love. And thanks again for watching.